Hi and welcome to this introduction to Checkpoint Smart Console, the central tool for managing your firewall and security policies. Smart Console is your all-in-one platform for configuring, monitoring and managing Checkpoint security gateways. Uh, from creating rules to monitoring real-time traffic, everything is uh, accessible in the one initiative uh, interface. So here I've created this uh, file to show you uh, everything in the smart console. So here first we can see the navigation toolbar consists of five tabs. We can take a look at our lab here. So these are the tabs. So the first one is gateways and servers. We have security policies, we have logs, we have infinity services, and we have manage and settings. Next, we can look at the second thing here, main menu. This main menu here, this main menu. Here we can, for example, manage policies and layers, uh, open object explorer. We can talk about this later. Uh, install policy. The most important here is the global properties. So these properties here are the global properties. And we will look at them uh, in another video. But here from the this menu, we can get to this. Check for updates, for example. So then we can continue here. So number three is object menu. This object here, object menu, this is the same, exactly the same as objects here, if we click new. The only uh, difference is that we can get to the object explorer here. So let's it. Uh, so for example, if we search for any object, for example, time objects, you can check that. And you can see that we have three objects. So here we can search of, for all objects in our uh, smart console. So next we can see the install policy here. This install policy, so when we install the policy, we can uh, click this button to install the policy. So even if you did not publish the changes, you can. it is uh, enough to click on install policy and the publish page will uh, show up. So here we can see that here we can install our policy. So next is number five is the session details. So the number of changes made in the session and the session status. So if we do any uh, change, so for example, if we create a new host, so say that this is the IP address and the name is test and click OK. So a number, number one will show up here because we have uh, done uh, one change. And now we can click this discard to remove that change. So now this one will uh, disappear. So next thing is the sidebar here. This is the sidebar. We have our objects here and we have the validation bar. So next we can see management activity bar. So here, if we run uh, a primary management server and a secondary management server, then we can click on this. In the CCSE course, we will install another or a secondary uh, management server and try to see how to, for example, fail over between these. But if we have to, this will be clickable and we can there change our uh, management server. So next is so number eight is the command line. We have a command line here. So for example, we can test uh, show 
hosts. So this is very useful. Uh, if you are interested in uh, APIs, you can check my series about uh, checkpoint APIs on YouTube. So this, for now, so this is for uh, the command line. Let's take the next, next slide here. Gateways and servers. So this is the gateways and servers. And here we can see this the views menu. This is very interesting. So here we can choose general and we can see general information about our servers and gateways. We can choose health and we can see memory, disk and this information. We can see traffic. So how much traffic is going through. So for example now it's because it's a lab it's only 350 second, six uh, bytes. Uh, we can see the access control. So these are the most important health, traffic and general. So uh, I would leave it on traffic or on health. So both of these are important. So next we can see here. So additional information section here. We can see information about, so for example, here if we click on one gateway, we can see that this is a, uh, a member in a cluster. You can see the memory, the CPU, task alerts. So if any error is uh, happens, so it will show up here. Our licenses. Uh, so let's go to next security policy step. So here. This is our security policies tab. So let's go back to our file here and see what we have. Tabs. So here we only have one tab. It's called standard. So this is the policy that will be installed on our cluster AGW0102. But when we uh, when we will use our external host, this BGW. We will create another uh, policy so we can click here on this plus and here we can manage our uh, other policy so let's look at the next thing policy package menu here so here we can see that this is our access policy this is our net policy here we can see the threat prevention policy and if TPS inspection policy. So next we can look at number three, which is security policy toolbar. For example, if we click here, we can press all policies. So to show only this, the section names. And at the same time, we can click that to open all sections. Install policy actions. So go to rule. Here we can search expert, export, history, implied rules. So we will talk about these later. But for now, for example, if we choose here to search, so we can try 10, 1, 1, 101. If we click here, we can run the packet mode and run the search again. Here we can see what rules should this IP address hit and we can see this is very uh, useful because we can see what uh, rules and what objects it will hit so in this case it will hit because this is a lab it will hit all the rules but in production you can see that uh, this IP address or any IP address will not uh, hit all the rules but it will show that it will hit some rules in the rule base so next we can look at uh, number four here. This here we can see the VPN communities. When we create a VPN, we need to create a, v a community. We will get to this later. Updates, user check. We will get to all these in a, in a later video. So next is 
uh, number five is the same as additional information section. We have we talked about this. So let's look at the logs. So here and there. So here our logs. So here now we are looking on uh, logs from our a GUI. This machine. So this machine here. This Windows machine. So here we can see all the logs. Here we can search the IP addresses. So for example, this is the IP address of the A GUI. We can test uh, like uh, show only action except for example. This here. This and show. Now it will show only the accept logs and we can do uh, except the, the opposite we can show only action drop and show us only the drop packets so next let's look at our next uh, manage and settings so here if we click manage and settings here so here we uh, we have the, all the settings about the permissions, who can log in, blade, sessions, we can uh, roll back to an, uh, an old uh, session, preferences uh, about some blades are here, so sync with user center, uh, smart tasks. So we will uh, look at all these in, in later videos when time is when time comes so this video is done now uh, thanks for watching if you found this helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tutorials so see you in the next video